it's not a place where people come to be a part of, um, oh, I don't know, it's hard to describe where it's Toronto. We don't have, uh, you know, mountains and oceans and uh, I mean, we're always going on about our ravines. Most Torontoans have never <laughs> been in a ravine. If they were, they'd feel nervous as hell. I mean, how do I get out of here? Um, so uh, I think, you know, the, 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 the charms of Toronto are the charms of Queen Street. And, the outdoor cafe, not that you don't have that here, I know, but, um, and I think people are, do feel good about all these things that are happening. And, you know, the Opera House, I think architecturally, uh, you know, is, uh, how should I put this, um, not terribly interesting. On the other hand, you know, it opened with a, with a full rings uh, production, the full rings, like people came from all around the world to see it. You know, I think, I think, I think that people uh, are happy about that in Toronto, even though they never go, I mean, even those of us who hate Wagner. You know, I think I'm getting off the topic here. Um, <laughs> but Young Dundas Square, I think, is a great place. And it was hugely uh, disliked and criticized at the time. I don't know if you know it, it's at Young Dundas, which is, um, you know, it's an area that has suffered many indignities over the years. And it's a space that's defined by the buildings around it now. It's got chairs and tables, and, and uh, uh, you go on, on a sunny day. It's a fan I think it's a fantastic place, but I think Torontonians were confused because of what, what do I do? Um, I can't go skating as I could at Nathan Phillips Square. Um, I can't buy anything. You know, that's the first thing that people know. There's nothing for sale. So that's a bit of a, you know, these people are feeling somewhat confused. But then when you see the chairs and the tables, it's a big clue. Ah, sit down. And then when you sit down, you start to look around. And it's lovely. It's fantastic. I mean, somebody talked about Flaneur. I mean, I think it's the first place, first, well, I can it's one of the, you know, places that's been built in Toronto with the idea of the Flaneur in mind. And I think it's a certain uh, sign of certain sophistication. Um, and I do think that people are starting to understand uh, uh, why or uh, what it is. It's not a civic square in the same way that Nathan Phillips is. You know, it's it's not where, you know, when the revolution starts, which I hope will be soon, you know, that first rock will be thrown, not at Young Dundas Square, <laughs> but at Nathan Phillips Square. Because it's the square where that rock will have some significance, otherwise it'll just be an act of vandalism. You know, Nathan, Young Dundas Square doesn't have that, it's not invested with that same kind of significance. But it's still public and it's still owned by all of us, and it's still a place you can sit down so they can't say move along unless you're selling drugs. <laughs>